My aunt accused me of pretending to be disabled just to get attention, but I wasn't faking it. She didn't believe me, and things escalated. She ended up physically attacking me, and I had to go to the hospital because of my injuries. To understand what happened, I need to give you some background information. I'll try to keep it brief, but there's a lot to explain. Don't worry if you don't want to read the whole thing, I'll summarize it at the NTL doctor. Also, please forgive me if I make any spelling or grammar mistakes. English isn't my first language, so I might not get everything perfect. But I'm a 31-year-old woman, and I was born with a rare genetic condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome EDs, specifically the hypermobile type. This condition affects people differently, but most of us can live relatively normal lives, despite experiencing some pain and challenges. Basically, EDS is a group of disorders that happen when the collagen in our bodies doesn't work properly. This causes a range of problems, including My EDS causes a few major issues. First, my joints are extremely loose and unstable, so they often dislocate or partially dislocate, which is very painful. This leads to severe pain in my joints and soft tissues, as well as damage to my joints. I also experience extreme chronic fatigue, which means I'm always exhausted. My skin is very fragile and bruises easily, and in some areas, it can even tear. When I stand up, I get dizzy because my blood pressure drops suddenly. About 11 years ago, my condition got much worse, and I had to start using a wheelchair to get around because walking was no longer safe for me. There was a high risk of falling and hurting myself due to a hip dislocation in the last three years. I've had to upgrade to an electric wheelchair because pushing a manual chair became too painful for me. For some reason, my Aunt 54F has a strong dislike for people with disabilities, especially those who use wheelchairs but can still move their legs, for 11 years when we were alone. She treated me very badly and insisted that my condition was fake. She thought I was making it up to get attention and believed I was jealous of others, especially her. I tried to talk to her about it, but I was already overwhelmed by my health issues, so I ended up keeping quiet. Since I'm not confrontational and don't see her often, I didn't want to burden others with it, especially since I already needed help from people around me and my parents were exhausted from all the doctor's visits. For the past 11 years, I've learned to ignore my aunt's hurtful comments when we're alone. I've gotten used to it and honestly didn't care what she thought anymore. I knew she was just being ignorant, but things took a turn for the worse last week during our annual family dinner at her place. She had organized the event and everything seemed fine at first. However, after drinking more than usual, she started making snide remarks towards me in front of the family. Some relatives spoke up, telling her it was unacceptable and inappropriate. She got quiet but kept giving me angry stares. My parents noticed the tension and kept a close eye on her. Things took a turn for the worse when I went to the kitchen to get away from my aunt's hostile stares and take my medication privately. Unfortunately, she followed me into the kitchen and closed the door behind us. I sensed trouble since she was clearly drunk, so I quietly started recording the incident on my phone, just in case. With the door closed and the noise from the other room drowning out our voices, I realized no one would hear me even if I shouted for help. My aunt started accusing me of seeking attention and ruining her dinner by embarrassing her. I tried to calmly apologize and explain that wasn't my intention while slowly moving my wheelchair towards the door, hoping to escape the situation. I tried to agree with her just to get out of the situation safely, but she kept escalating, shouting accusations that I was jealous of her success and faking my disability because I was lazy. She hurled every insult imaginable at me, screaming nonsense. I became terrified, thinking she might be having a mental breakdown. I broke down in tears, begging her to let me leave. I knew I had to escape, but my chair would hinder me, so I tried to get out of it. However, she became physically violent, pushing me back into the chair with force. She shouted that she wasn't finished and that people like me, who she believed were liars, needed to be punished. She started striking me in the face with full force, causing my jaw to dislocate. Next, she tried to forcibly pull me out of my wheelchair, which dislocated my arm, but I resisted and she wasn't able to succeed. Then, she pushed my chair over onto its side, trapping my foot behind the footrest. Fortunately, my dad realized I was missing and went looking for me. Also noticing my aunt was gone. He must have sensed something was wrong. My dad later told me 
that I let out a scream so loud and terrifying that it could be heard throughout the entire dining room. This prompted him and my mom to rush towards the sound. I was starting to pass out from the pass out from the pain. I vaguely remember my dad bursting into the kitchen. Apparently, he tackled my aunt his younger sister to the ground and punched her to ensure she didn't get up again. My mom shouted for someone to call 911 and my nephew quickly made the call. She then rushed to free me from the overturned wheelchair and tried to remember her first aid training to help me. Meanwhile, my dad held my aunt down on the floor, while her husband stood by in shock, unsure of how to react. Soon the police and ambulance arrived, and they handcuffed my aunt. My aunt yelled at my dad, asking how he could possibly hit a woman, especially his own sister. Then, my uncle tried to defend my aunt, claiming they didn't know what had happened and suggesting that I might have overturned my own wheelchair after trying to attack her. He insisted that his wife would never do something like this and that I must have provoked her. Apparently he said some even worse things, but my parents won't repeat them. I started to come to, probably due to the strong pain medication I received. Everything is still a bit fuzzy because the medication made me dizzy. I was taken to the hospital by ambulance while my aunt was taken to jail. At the hospital, the doctors found that I had multiple broken ribs, a dislocated arm, and a dislocated jaw. I also had a concussion from the punches, but the worst injury was to my foot, which was broken. Due to my fragile skin, I also have numerous cuts and scrapes. Luckily, my injuries didn't require surgery, but because of my condition, I'll need to be in a cast for at least 10 weeks, followed by physical therapy. Unfortunately, my ankle will likely suffer permanent damage. I'm feeling guilty for supposedly ruining my aunt's life. I've received multiple voicemails from different numbers with her yelling that I've destroyed her life and probably their finances too. My uncle is trying to protect his own reputation by supporting my aunt, but that won't last since he's planning to divorce her anyway. Some family members are making me question if I'm the one who did something wrong, which is why I'm asking if I'm the asshole in this situation. I wanted to add this part, but it got deleted somehow. I ended up sharing the footage on a private family group page so everyone could see what happened. I'm not sure if it was the right thing to do, but based on the reactions, it probably was. After that, things escalated quickly. And that's why my aunt is even more furious now. Edit, I want to clarify that when you're severely disabled like me, people often blame you for things that aren't your fault, combined with past traumatic experiences. This has made it incredibly hard for me to stand up for myself or recognize when I'm truly at fault. It's challenging for me to distinguish between genuine criticism and gaslighting tactics that manipulate me into believing I'm the problem. I hope this helps others understand why my mind sometimes makes me question whether I'm to blame for these situations. For those curious about how I received pain meds while unconscious, I believe I regained consciousness due to the medication but I don't recall much because of the pain. I'll ask my parents about the timing of the meds. They're hesitant to discuss how they found me and what happened, as they'd rather keep those memories buried to spare me from further distress. Update the footage is now in the hands of the police and backed up on multiple platforms. I'm considering taking legal action, which my insurance covers. TL doctor my aunt brutally attacked me, putting me in the hospital, because she believes I'm faking my genetic disorder for attention. I recorded the entire incident and shared it online after they accused me of lying and claiming I attacked her. Now, our entire family has cut ties with her, including her church. Her husband wants a divorce, and she's furious with me for posting the video and ruining her life. 